Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I on. can't stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. <sighs> fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you got to do. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some balling. Could you like... listen to yours. Do with that as you will.
snuck a camera in, and they're going to expose it. Did you know that they're killing animals on some of these farms? And then, they eat them. It's like a zombie movie. It's horrible. Everything should be allowed to live. Just think about a world with the streets full of cows and chickens and velociraptors. It'd be great. You could hug them. Sounds a bit like Australia. That's pretty much the third world, ain't it? Precisely. What we want is our own world, a fourth world, where we can snuggle with a chicken or a goat, lay in the hay together, where nothing dies. Listen up, Jeff. You are going to have to understand that the good Lord made natural selection for a reason. It is well known that shark embryos cannibalize their litter mates in the womb, with the strongest one eating all the siblings. My mother was pregnant with triplets, but when she went into labor, only one came out, and that was me! I won! That's the way nature works, son! You can't fight nature, but you can wrestle with it at Dwayne Earl's Art. Stop by and tell Tammy that you heard it on this show, and she will give you a commemorative koozie for your beer so that it will stay cold as you tour the premises. That's about all the time we got this week. This has been Beyond Insemination. I'm Dwayne Earl, and you're not. has been Beyond Insemination. You have been inseminated. I wish I could stop time so my wife looked like she did 20 years ago. Now she's a disgusting pig. Man, I hate middle age. You can stop time with presser books. At funerals, they always say how wonderful the deceased look. The secret is for no time. It preserves the skin. Presser books brings the wisdom of the funeral parlor to the beauty parlor. Most beauty products only work skin deep. Presser books works under the skin to replenish aging cells and freeze time once and for all. Presser books stay beautiful for all of eternity. If you enjoy the country, breakfast buffets, and off-color jokes, <laughs> you're in the right place. 96.5 FM, Blaine County Radio. Coming up next, it's Blaine County Radio Community Hour and a rebroadcast of the podcast by Ronald Joukowsky. The missiles are airborne. America, you have six minutes before you are annihilated. The dead are risen and are feasting on living humans. We're at the sea. Do you have ED? Why secret government's experiments have already made you impotent. Killing words, of course, but something that you will probably hear soon, or would if it wasn't being kept secret from us by the lamestream media and all the other gatekeepers. Well, today on Blaine County Radio Community Hour, I, Ronald Jukowski, say screw your gates. I will show you how to kill the art of death by Robo Apocalypse and how...
like my great grandpappy. He was in the Donner Party. Now that's some American ingenuity right there. Exactly, Jerry. Hey, hey, hey. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. The place is crawling with ballers, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah, tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic. Classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna find a way in. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. I'm meeting them head on. Direct assault. Hey, I'm gonna get in position. Hey, I got a good vantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. I reckon our best shot is coming at him from two different directions. All right, I'll take that on board.
Hyper fire! On Lamar! Hey, Lamar, let's go before they turn you into wood chip. Oh, crazy dude! Hey, homie! Yeah, 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 get up. Let's go. Come on, guys, they're here in force. You gotta move! Your losses! Let us go! Taking your pot. Two. Get rid of them already, man. Tits.
got so many bullets! on your office supplies. Shit, homie, you all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got the jump on me, though. How they get you a car? Fuck! I'm all the way out here. Man, I ain't been let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, where the trust that dog? I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the fizz ain't. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up. Homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times. No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga, whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather, whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. 
This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got, and we gon' do something about that, dog. We flying now. Jesus. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Four gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And as a matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Point that shit at me.
shit, homie. So I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah. nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga, I mean, Thank you. I guess it's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours are trying to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad dog and asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Car. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in a turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey! Oh, flossing ass nigga. 